You are scared. Don't forget who you are. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. If you don't forget who you are, you will control that fear and cast it out. And you will come out from that situation victorious. But if you forget who you are, every available option may want to be your decision. Are you getting that? Want to be your decision. Someone is scared. They said, "What happened?" How did Mary find out that she was chosen to be the mother of God's son? Listen to the Bible from Luke one. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, "Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High." The Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. From Luke one, listen to the Bible. It's great for the soul. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year from World Salvation Center. Appreciate who I am. I may not look the best for you, but I'm the best of me, and I'm an original piece. I'm not a copy. I am an original piece, branded. So why should I compare me and Sam, or me and uh, brother, or me and sister? Weak emotional state, weak mental state, comparing me and people. My hair is coily, just is straight. Oh, you! I wish my hair is straight. Hey, why? Because I don't know me. If I know me, I'll appreciate me. I'll love me. But you better love you. Did you hear? Did you hear me? You see, if someone love you more than you love yourself, it's insecurity. You will have insecurity. You be you be getting because you be thinking, why is he why is he loving me? We need love somebody else now. We need love somebody else now. You better love you first. Love you first. And other people's love is add on. Your love is essential. Your love for yourself is essential ingredient for living. Other people's love is add-on. Add-on is just an addition, right? <coughs> but people are living by add-on. Nobody loves me. <laughs> you? Do you love yourself? I don't know, Pastor. Now you receive the commandment: Thou shalt love thyself in Jesus' name. <laughs> love yourself. No, if you don't love yourself, no matter the the wardrobe, you nothing will come out. No matter the product name, nothing will come out. Love yourself and watch the wardrobe. Love yourself and watch how you think of yourself. Be inspired by yourself. I'm not saying self worship, but the one that goes and sleep with me. <laughs> I'm not talking about that one. I says miserable, you need deliverance. <laughs> Always <laughs> stay with me in the in the bus. 
I'm not talking about that. I need deliverance from self worship. <laughs> <laughs> they almost want to leave their body and see themselves like this. <laughs> Not that one. Not self worship. Purposeful loving of yourself as God has created you. Not that self worship. Putting things excess, extravagant. Not that one. Always having mirror behind the cone. Behind the lipstick, behind the eyeliner, be all these mirrors everywhere. <laughs> Maybe so, all these things. <laughs> self, self worship. Thou shalt worship God. Amen. Not self. Amen. Not beauty. How long would that beauty last? 50 years. That is if you even take care of it. 50 years can last. So, my beauty, my beauty is, inside. is inside. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. That's how it should be. Okay, come with me. The rest of you should be good, the book of James. James chapter 1, let's read from verse 22 to 25. Let's close with that. So, don't forget what I told you. There are two things that come to tempt us always. Two things, and they're emotional states. Number one, excitement. Number two, fear. These two things, they come to tempt us to forget who we are. They are actually like uh, liquor. They are like alcohol. Someone that is under fear, have you noticed? I, I wouldn't even say that. All of you have been scared before. <laughs> One fellow said, he said, he cannot run because when he was young, he was a sprinter. Now he cannot run. <laughs> okay, so one day, he was passing by a compound and they wrote, they, they wrote beware of dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> they wrote beware of dogs. So, he looked at it, he slighted it. So, he, he walked close to the compound. Then something was smelling <laughs> his feet from behind. So, when he saw it, it was a huge dog looking like a lion. So he was already, he was already, uh, he was already shaking. So the dog shouted. When the dog shouted, nobody said run. He, he ran. He was running, jumping, big, big gutters. He was running. So the dog was pushing. He was running. He came to a place, a fence. Which you think human being cannot climb without a ladder. Which fence? <laughs> He was calculating as well. He was And he jumped about it. He jumped about it and he saw. How did I? <laughs> How? How did I? It's the instinct of fear. It's what fear can do. He was so scared that he denied his legs <laughs> of the ability he thought the legs did not have. He denied it. He was running. And he was calculating. As he was getting Many people in that kind of state, they do a lot of things. A lot of things. Someone said, your mother's in the eye, see you. This is magic water from uh, the biggest temple. I don't know whatever it is, okay? They wash the body of the idol. This water is powerful. Give to your mother. Mother will be well. Ready? He loves his mother, right? So, really? <laughs> He's a Christian. No? <laughs> really? It, it will work, huh? Because he's already scared. He wants to save his mother at all cost. When you are scared, don't forget who you are. If you don't forget who you are, you will control that fear and cast it out. And you will come out from that situation victorious.
But if you forget who you are, every available option may want to be your decision. Are you getting that? Want to be a decision. Someone is scared. They said, "What happened?" See, my age is running. So, okay, your age is running. Okay, fine. Then one fellow comes and says, "I want to marry you." <laughs> the fellow comes like this and be like, "I want to marry you." He said, "What to do? If I don't marry, my age is running. I do. I will marry you." After the marriage, I said, "Because my age is running, that's why I'm married." <laughs> <laughs> she didn't marry because he, she loved. She didn't marry because of purpose. She married because her age was running. So she said, in the marriage, now she got frustrated and I said, hey, behave in this house because I married you because my age was running. That's why I married you. Otherwise, I will walk out from this house. You are the one who, who, who was scared. Anybody came, you married anybody. Fear, 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 fear. Come, James. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Remain in what God has made you. Say amen. amen. Are you there in the book of James? Yes. Chapter 1, let's read from verse 22 through to 25. Be a doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Christmas and a happy new year. He planned you to be mature. He planned you to be mature. He planned you. The way he planned you to be saved. Now are you saved? Good. So he planned you to be mature. So now you should be mature. So only salvation is not enough. You have to become mature. Maturity. The purpose of life is meaningless. The same thing, spiritually. When you don't understand the importance of your maturity, your spiritual life is almost useless. Salvation itself, as good as salvation itself, is almost useless. How many of you know God is love? Good. Thank you. If you don't know, then I don't think you attended World Salvation Center. <laughs> God is love. Can you say that? God is love. Thank you. Now, in the teaching of God who is love, there is childishness and manhood. Stage. This prophet comes, that which people will run away, 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 not that we pull it with us. Hello? We don't pull it with us. Away! We, 
is done away. We do away with it. Next, verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I taught as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Maturity, spiritual maturity. God wants each one of us to have what? Spiritual maturity. <clears throat> this is the reason why the Bible talks about unity of the faith. Unity of the faith. It's not that all the church we now come and name United Churches of Pentecostal something, something, something of Jesus of Nazareth coming back soon church. No. It is the one thinking, the one mindset, the kingdom mentality. That's what God wants to do. In your eye like this, you are, you are seeing the effect. Ah, you know, oh, so, oh, baby, what happened? Mommy beat me. <laughs> You know why? Child always like to blame you. Want something to hold. So, some Christians are like that. Why are you not going to church? That brother mailed me, I don't like him. I <laughs> said, <laughs> what did he do to you? He didn't do anything to you. What did he do to you? Hello? What did he do? I said, Pastor, I don't like it. They preach too long. Oh, you're looking for something to blame. Every one of us has time slots in our walk with God. Different time slot. There is a time to hear the message. There is a time to meditate on the message. There is a time to confess the message. There is a time to become the message. There's, a, there's time slots. There are time slots. Hello? There are time slots. Okay? Let's read it. Verse 12. For when for the time... Can you see that now? Can you see that now? For, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and have become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. See that? For everyone that uses milk is unskillful. Mark it. It's unskillful, unskillful, unskillful. Wait, you know, unskillful, you don't have experience. Unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Number one understanding you should have, the key to understanding righteousness is the strength of Father's love. The key to understand is that understand that Father loves you. People, when things go wrong in their life, the first thing they ask, sister, is, what did I do wrong? That's the first thing they ask. Why do you, why do you like this? You are more conscious of your sinful nature than you are of God's love for you. of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholded himself and goeth his own way and straightway, what happens? Straightway, what happens? Forgets what manner of man he was. It's a very serious problem. After knowing who he, who he is, he goes away and forgets. Forgets. And acts under instinct. You are not supposed to act under instinct. You are supposed to act by knowledge. I know my Redeemer lives. Jesus is my Lord. Dead or alive, I believe him. Amen? I believe him. Look at what the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to the king. Live forever, O king. 
Our God is able to deliver us. But if he doesn't, we'll still not bow. They made a decision out of knowledge, not feeling. Do you think it feels nice to see the fire? Maybe if you think so, light a candle when you get home and put your little finger like this for like uh, 30 seconds and remove it. And then think of putting your hand like this. Okay, just think of it. It will be very terrible. But this is a fullness. The whole body will be thrown there. They didn't make a decision based on how they feel. But they told, live forever, okay. If our God does not save us, we will still not bow to your image. Because we, we are taught not to bow to graven images. We don't worship idols. King was infuriated. What is this? Throw them in. And he saw that their God was the true God. And he made a decree. So we don't respond based on what? Our feelings. We don't respond to situation. We don't react to situation based on our feelings. So here he said, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. You see? Here he said, the person forgets what manner of man he was. Verse 25. Let's read the last verse. Verse 25. But whoso look at into the perfect law of liberty. I told you God is perfect, right? Yes. This is a perfect law of liberty. You Listen, listen. This is so important. You cannot look into perfect law of liberty and be imperfect. I'll show you something. Put a marker there. Come with me to the book of Corinthians. I found a new way of living. I found a new life divine. I have the fruit of the Spirit. I'm abiding, abiding in the vine, abiding in the vine, abiding in the vine. Love, joy, help, peace, He has made them mine. I have prosperity, power, and victory, abiding, abiding in the vine. I found a new way of living. It springs from my identity. I think, act, and everything from my identity. Some people, like we said earlier on, their identity is from their appearance. Don't let it be like that with you. Some other people with identity is from their dressing. If this product is a branded product, they act bold. But if this product is common in Suvazinaga, <laughs> they sit like this. <laughs> they sit quietly. Whether I wear a general product, my brother taught me. While I was saved, he said to me, he said, Edmunds, we make the product what its value. I repeat, he said, we make the product what its value. Until the product comes on you, its value is zero. So, I am the value for the product. So my understanding changed. Before, Jojo Amani told me, Kotonso, Kotonso, Mutonto, Mutonto, all the Italian products, you know, they sound like that. Musonio, Mansonio, you know, they, they sound like that. It's branded product. Yeah, branded product is good. It's good quality, isn't it? But if you cannot afford it, don't let that affect your identity, your confidence. You can afford it, afford it. Buy this good stuff. Hello? Buy it. But do, 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 many people will come and say, little time wearing, lotion so, lotion so. So, 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 <laughs> so, if you are wearing a tie, you know, some ties don't have brands. <laughs> so, if you are wearing a brandless tie, they expect you to close it like this. For what? For what? So, you wear the jeans and they open it like this. Why? <laughs> I want to show you Levi's. Ah, is, is, my, is this thing? Is this thing? Is this thing? <laughs> No stain. They want you to see the batch. <laughs> is this stain? Is this stain? It's not stain, eh? Oh, thank you. 
I will tell them, I have seen it, it is Levis. <coughs> I will tell them straight, I have seen it, it is Tommy Hilfiger, right? I have seen it, brother. Please it now. <laughs> one of my friends told me, one of my friends told me, he used to wear rings in his hands, so many gold, that uh, he would go to the party, and he wants to show to them that uh, he has gold. So he say, <laughs> did you come to How did Mary find out that she was chosen to be the mother of God's son? Listen to the Bible from Luke 1. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. From Luke 1, listen to the Bible. It's great for the soul. Angels, we Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Walt Salvation Center in Bangalore. Partner with us, type www.worldsalvation.org, and there you are in the page under donation. Click on EOM partnership here. The page displays EOM online partnership. You click on the right options, and don't forget to click on the browse button and select your clear picture and click submit, and you get a thank you response that easy to become a partner with us in preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That easy. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. Is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And he walked the earth, and he faced the things that we're facing, passed through the difficulties that we passed through, and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus you can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.